Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss uh, an important limit uh, from differential calculus, right? So here uh, we have to evaluate this limit that is limit x tends to 3 and we have absolute value of x minus 2 divided by greatest integer of x plus 3, right? So here uh, we see that uh, in this function uh, both the uh, absolute value function and the greatest integer function are involved right so this is a very important problem for uh, those uh, who are just beginners in uh, calculus and uh, this limit will clear a lot of concepts uh, regarding uh, the functions and limits right so let us start so here uh, we have to find limit x tends to 3 so uh, in order to uh, find uh, the limit at x equal to 3 uh, we have to find the uh, left hand limit and the right hand limit right because we know that the limit of a function exists at a particular point if the left hand limit and the right hand limit both exist finite and are equal right so what we will do here see here we have x is equal to 3 right and we have to find the limit uh, x tending to 3 so when x tends to 3 it approaches from uh, either from left or from right right so here uh, first we will find the uh, left hand limit and then we will find the right hand limit and if both the limits are equal then we say that uh, the limit x tends to 3 it exists right so let us start and let us first calculate the left hand limit so the notation for a uh, left hand uh, limit is uh, limit x tends to uh, 3 minus right so here this negative sign uh, shows that we are approaching from the left of x is equal to 3 that is all those points which lies towards the uh, left of x is equal to 3 are less than uh, 3 right so limit x tends to 3 minus and here we have mod of x minus 2 over uh, greatest integer of x plus 3 right so now what we will do uh, here we'll uh, take uh, uh, x is equal to 3 minus h right where h is uh, a positive quantity that is greater than 0 but h is a very very small quantity right so x is equal to 3 minus h uh, shows that uh, we are uh, taking those points which are towards the uh, left of x is equal to 3 right so now x is equal to 3 minus h so when uh, x tends to uh, 3 obviously uh, h tends to 0 right so now the left hand limit is equal to a limit h tends to 0 and here for x we can replace x by 3 minus h so we have mod of uh, 3 minus h minus 2 and then here we have greatest integer of uh, uh, 3 minus h uh, plus 3 right and this is limit h tends to 0 this is 3 minus 2 is 1 so we have 1 minus h and here we have 6 minus h right now let us take this uh, uh, quantity that is uh, uh, greatest integer of 6 minus h right uh, viewers uh, we have just seen that h is a positive quantity right and h is a very very small uh, number right so 6 minus h is obviously it is uh, greater than 5 right this is greater than 5 but it is uh, uh, less than 6 now because uh, see if we take h is equal to say 0 0.0001 
right now here h is a positive quantity but it is very very small so when we find 6 minus h that is 6 minus 0 0.0001 then obviously this quantity is uh, uh, greater than 5 but it is slightly less than 6 so by definition of greatest integer uh, function the value of greatest integer of 6 minus h is uh, equal to 5 right so now uh, here we have limit h tends to 0 and uh, mod of 1 minus h can be taken as uh, 1 minus h and here we have 5 right because uh, the greatest integer of 6 minus h is uh, equal to 5 right so now we can take uh, h equal to 0 here so we have 1 minus 0 over 5 that is 1 over 5 right so the left hand limit of uh, this function when x approaches to 3 from the left of x is equal to 3 is equal to 1 over 5 right now uh, let us find the uh, right hand limit so the notation for the right hand limit is uh, limit x tends to 3 plus and we have the function uh, mod of x minus 2 over uh, greatest integer uh, x plus 3 right and again uh, we'll take uh, x is equal to uh, here we have taken 3 minus h now we are approaching from the right of x is equal to 3 and uh, uh, towards the right of x is equal to 3 all the values are greater than 3 right so we'll take x is equal to 3 plus h and uh, obviously h is greater than 0 it is a positive quantity and when x tends to 3 obviously h tends to 0 right so now this limit uh, can be written as limit h tends to 0 for x we can write uh, uh, 3 plus h minus 2 and here we have greatest integer of x plus 3 so x is uh, 3 plus h plus 3 and this is the limit h tends to 0 and 3 minus 2 is 1 so we have 1 plus h uh, mod of 1 plus h over uh, 6 plus h right now again uh, let us uh, 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 concentrate on this term so we have greatest integer of 6 plus h right as we have just said that h is uh, a positive quantity and h is a very very small quantity right so 6 plus h is, uh, is slightly greater than 6 but it is less than 7 right because again if we take h is equal to a point zero 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 one then six plus h is six plus uh, point uh, zero 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 one and this quantity is slightly greater than six but less than seven so by definition of uh, uh, greatest integer function the value of greatest integer of six plus h is uh, equal to uh, here we'll have six right so now uh, we can write this limit as limit h tends to 0 and here we have 1 plus h uh, we can take 1 plus h out of uh, uh, this uh, um, mod sign and here we have 6 right so now we can take h is equal to 0 so this is 1 plus 0 over 6 that is 1 over 6 right so viewers uh, here we have seen that uh, the left hand limit is equal to 1 over 5 and the right hand limit is equal to 1 over 6 and both these limits are uh, finite they exist but uh, they are not equal right so the limit uh, x tends to 3 uh, of uh, mod of x minus 2 over uh, greatest integer of x plus 3 it does not exist right because uh, here uh, the 
uh, left hand limit is 1 over 5 and the right hand limit is 1 over 6 and 1 over 5 is not equal to 1 over 6 that is the left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit so the limit uh, the overall limit that is x tends to 3 mod of x minus 2 over greatest integer of x plus 3 it does not exist so for the limit to exist the left hand limit and the right hand limit both should be equal right or in other words so we can say that the left hand limit and the right hand limit should approach uh, towards the same number uh, if uh, this limit is to exist right so in this case uh, the limit x tends to 3 of this function uh, does not exist because left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit so this is how uh, we solve this problem.